Good afternoon, and welcome to Zoneminder TV. I am your host and friendly developer, Isaac, otherwise known as Icon in the IRC and Slack channels. So today, we're starting off the Zoneminder channel with a video quickly, how to install Zoneminder 1.34 on Ubuntu Bionic Beaver. Uh, I'll do other videos uh, with the newly released uh, Focal Fossa in a bit. The procedure will be the same. Right now, we're just going to stick with this. So, how what I have here in the VM is uh, an up-to-date Bionic Beaver. Uh, it's a fresh install, nothing else really installed. So, I'm going to go through the steps that I would use to install Zoneminder. So, step one. Oops. With every version of Debian and Ubuntu, the packages that are going to come with Ubuntu it is not going to be up to date. I'm constantly working, fixing problems, uh, bug fixes, whatever. Uh, so inevitably, uh, we really recommend that you use our PPAs. Um, I will have the latest version. So that's what we're doing here. The Adapt repository will add my PPA. With the one, you see the zone minor 1.34 release. Um, mm -hmm. See there, some various ways to donate money to me. Our next step is going to be to install MySQL first. Um, MySQL isn't automatically installed because you might be hosting the database on a separate machine. That doesn't have to be local. So ZoneMinder doesn't know whether it should install it or not. But we will, if it is installed, then ZoneMinder will automatically create the database and everything else. Um, and so we, this is a basic install. So we're going to install MySQL first. Um, you could install MariaDB. They'll work just as well. Oops. Um, While this is downloading, uh, I want to mention this is my first real video. So put a little rough around the edges. This is my second uh, attempt at this one. The first one, there was enough wrong with it that I felt I should just try it again. Tweaked a few things. Hopefully this will be end up better quality and I will have to do less editing. So please uh, let me know uh, what you think of the sound quality, etc., how I present. Hopefully each video will get better and better. I tend to make them all pretty short and sweet, uh, addressing one issue at a time so that uh, you can very quickly get to the data that you want. I hate videos with long lead-ins and so forth. All right, here we go. Now what this should leave us with is Zoneminder installed. It won't be running. The database will be created. And Apache... Um, the configuration files will be installed but not enabled. So that once this is done, we'll have a couple of steps to go through to actually enable Zoneminder. Now, all these uh, steps that I'm doing are covered in our documentation, what we call you know, installing Zoneminder the easy way. Um, Bill Bunge uh, maintains a really nice uh, set of, of documentation for each successive version of Zoneminder in Ubuntu. Uh, the links to those will be in the comments at the bottom of the video. Uh, you can check those later. Uh, you may notice that I don't do all the steps uh, that are in that documentation because some of them are only apply to older versions. Some of them are because I get it right the first time. I, you know, order is important sometimes. Uh, so if if you have any questions, please check there. a lot of uh, fun things to do with when you're trying to make one of these videos. 
green screen issues, what you should use as the background, things like, where are you looking? <laughs> I've got two monitors here. One has OBS up uh, doing the recording. The other is the VM that uh, you know, I've, I've merged into the video here. And uh, it can be confusing as to where you should stick your, you should point your eyes and where you should talk to. Hopefully I'll get better at that as we go. So as I mentioned, I'm, uh, my name is Isaac. I'm the primary developer of Zoneminder right now. I uh, do it, it, unfortunately I don't want to get paid enough to do it full time, but it just about is full time for me. It's what I would prefer to work on day to day. They're always uh, searching for more funding. Segment, we can see that it has created the database and it updated it. Make sure everything is ready to go. Did some Apache configuration. This should be, uh, should take too much longer. Uh, now, one thing about this, what we're going to do, there's various ways of configuring uh, Apache for the zone binder. The default way um, installs it just as a configuration, not as a virtual host. So it ends up, um, you know, to, to get into it, you would just go to localhost slash ZM. In another video, I'll, I'll go through the steps to making it a proper virtual host and so forth. Okay, so that's installed. And if we take a look, it is not running. We have to enable it. So we're going to do Enable zone binder. That'll cause it to start up a boot. And then we can start zone binder. Now we can see we have all the background processes running. No cameras recording, but just the system is, is enabled. Uh, next, we need to, as I said, we need to configure Apache. Uh, so a to nconf zone binder. This will enable that that default configuration that gets installed. So let's here. What went wrong? Aha. Yes, there's a few other modules that need to be installed or enabled. Rewrite just for the uh, Cake PHP based API. While we're at it, there's a couple others that aren't required, but will improve performance a little bit. All right, now let's try reloading Apache. Now, I think Zoneminder will now be up and running successfully. We'll go through adding a camera and uh, see just to verify that everything is in fact running. Uh, done here, I'm gonna encourage everyone to go with accept because it gives us, sends some information to us about what kind of cameras you have. Uh, helps us make some decisions uh, about what we work on. We haven't actually done anything useful with this information yet, but we'd like to. Okay, so I'm gonna do add a camera. Uh, you can give it a name. Um, And there you have it. Successful install of Zoneminder. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments below. And uh, if you like it, click subscribe, share it, spread the word, whatever. Bye-bye.